Hello everyone, Teacup Tempest here, and today we're making a candle shop. I'm always kind of looking for ways to make some unique shops, and I thought, why not make a candle for the candle shop? So that's what we're going to be building today. I am in particular making the cyan candle, which, let's, uh, oh, go over here. And that's what the cyan candle looks like. And for this, I'm going to be using soul soil for, and we're going to do a blue flame on our candle because why not? Soul soil, uh, flint and steel. Then we're going to use the warped warp block the stripped warped hyphae, the cyan wool, and the cyan concrete powder to make us something pretty unique. And then here we are going to be doing a 5x5 five 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 system, or oh my goodness guys, a 7x7 seven seven system. And I'm going to give this a moment so you guys have time to see the numbers. And I'm also going to be putting up a material list. Be sure to like and subscribe. I've got big things coming next week. Barring anything crazy happening. So you definitely want to hit that bell notification. I'm super excited. All right, I believe it's been long enough. Let's start with our warped, warped block. And we are going to bring this up by three. So one, two, three, and let's just do that all the way around. And then let's switch to our stripped warp hyphae and let's bring that up by three as well. Okay, let's bring our cyan wool up by three. Let's bring our cyan concrete powder up by three. Actually, let me count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's just bring this one up by two. So you should have something that looks like this. I know it looks a little not candle-like. This is about as good as you're going to get, but there's some things we can do. Let's grab our stripped warp hyphae and start just popping some of these in like so around the candle. Oh, maybe not that far down. So you kind of have, let's actually make this one that way. 
So you have a bit of that going on. And then grab your cyan wool and do the same thing. Doesn't have to be, you know, exactly the way I'm doing it. Just pop some in there. Okay. I don't quite like this one, so I'm gonna do that. And then same thing with your concrete, but your concrete's gonna fall, so what you wanna do is just kinda like do that. And then go back in and fill in the top. I don't want to like that. direction All right and this is what you should have now oh I didn't do this side getting ahead of myself all right now this is what you should have And then here, let's just go ahead and fill in the roof with the strip warp type A. And then in the very center, take your soul soil and bring it up by three and light the top like so. So now you have a big old candle. You can make it taller. It may even look better taller, but this is just gonna be a nice short candle. Here in the center on the front, let's break out these two for a door. I will now show you how to do some of the interior. And let's see, for the door, we are going to go with the warped, I believe. And then for the floor, let's go with our warped slab. This is going to be pretty cyan -y. <laughs> And then I like using slab in the floor of builds because mobs can't spawn on them. So if you're wondering why I'm doing slabs, that is why. Let's put on our door like so <laughs> and it's definitely gonna be hard for people to find that let's see let's grab do I want to do a campfire do I want to do let's actually run three slabs across the top and let's grab our warped trap door and do three like that. Break out these. <laughs> this may be way too much cyan, but let's keep on going. At least frame out the door. There we go. And then you could even pick some cyan candles just to really set the cyan off you can put windows in if you want i just am going to leave it like a big old candle all right let's go in and i'll show you how i would do the interior 
So first off, let me grab some shroom light just to kind of light this place up. Since we don't have any windows, you do not have to do this step. Like I said, I'm just trying to light it up so I can see. So, there's a couple ways you can do this. I would probably... Let's see here. One, two, three... Like on the floor. Maybe go in and then let's also do our... Let's bring it up one more. So let's bring it across and break that and put it there. Okay. So let's go ahead and put it in our ceiling. do we have 17 okay so what we are going to do probably right here <laughs> trying to think of where I want to put the uh, the ladder so you can get upstairs and then here I like that then you have the ladder right there let me pop that one up right like so and then could also do this just to kind of like frame the door and have that continuity like so and then I'll do something with that actually and then let's grab a um, ender chest because people don't always have their diamonds on them so let's grab that that there so that's your ATM on one side you can do like hmm. we'll, we'll see we'll see and then back here let's grab our barrels and then we're gonna grab item frame I uh, don't want regular or glowing we'll do regular because of the more yellow light candles so one way you could do this so one two three four five six seven that'd be ten that's fifteen right there and then there's seventeen so let's do get a scaffolding oh wait the ladder's gonna go there okay never mind and let's just do because <laughs> you could yeah totally do like a wall of uh, barrels back here have the ladder you can do a like yeah payment here Okay, this is way more barrels than we need. What we could do, I have some ideas. Okay, so let's grab a sign. Let's go with crimson so it stands out. And then got the like squat. And this could be string. This could be. Um, is it honeycomb? I think it's honeycomb that you need. And then let's see, that's 15, 16, 17. 
here. Flint and steel. So way people can make their own or you can even like put dyes. And then here. Red candle. Blue candle. I'm not going to do all of these for time's sake. And then you can get your glow ink sack and do that so that way it's easier to see. You can put a sign here. It says payment here. Um, the other thing you can do is the item frames. So you could do this and then actually put like the flint and steel, the honeycomb. I actually kind of prefer doing it this way personally. And then um, string. And then blue. Red candle. And then you can also use an anvil to rename. So here. Put, put it. Anvil down. Rename this blue candle. Uh, and say blue candle one diamond per stack. However you want to do it. And then here. When I put that in there, they can see that and they know how much. They can grab what they want and put their payment over here. And then upstairs, and you can do this one of two ways. You can do like the the wall of barrels, or you can put half your inventory down here and do the other half upstairs, or you can do a thing where you have like a living quarters upstairs. So let's head up here. And then you could easily do some lighting. Let me grab some lanterns. <laughs> it's still so dark. Um, let's grab our fence. I'm just gonna do like a lantern or a lamp in the corner. There we go. And then you can do a trapdoor over that. Let's do the cyan or not cyan. Crimson. Like so. Now we got a couple of lamps, but you could do, you know, your bed. You could do like a tiny, tiny kitchen in here. You could do all of that. I'm not going to really show you that. Mainly was more interested in showing you how to set up the shop. And I believe, and then yeah, of course, need lighting in here as well. You could do that. Um, could do I think about this A clever way to do some lighting. That's honestly going to be way too in the way, so. These two lights should keep anything from spawning. Up here, you could do the ladder to just that part and still be able to get up and then do a uh, trap door like so. And then you can put a sign that says like, you know, 
um, more inventory here or private quarters stay out, you know, whichever you want to do with that. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this little build I put together. I love doing creative builds like this where you just kind of think outside of the box to come up with something. You can do this with a variety of the colors. I probably could do it with every single color. I'd have to play with it. But the game doesn't have just a ton of things you can make like a, a gradient with. Um, within a color, I want to say color family. So like within cyan, within red. Because if we look at red, red's probably actually pretty easy to do. Just looking at it. Um, but yeah, hopefully this inspires you for your own shops in your worlds. I know this may not necessarily be survival friendly, but if you want something creative and fun to do, this is perfect for that. And yeah, like I said, like and subscribe. I've got big things coming next week that I'm super, super excited about. I have been working hard to get it all set up and ready for you all. And that's all I've got for you. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, goodbye.